It's time now for Ask the Coach, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, a proud corporate sponsor of the Vols. Visit them online at academy.com. Welcome back to Ask the Coach, presented by Academy. I am now joined with Offensive Coordinator Mike Bajakian, and your question is from Brady Adams. He says, Justin Worley seems to be in more command this season. What improvements have you seen from him? Number one, I think he's been more decisive. Uh, with, with quarterback, it's all about making great decisions, protecting the ball, managing the game. And Justin uh, has been assertive at the line of scrimmage, been decisive with the football, uh, and I think that's led to more confidence. We've seen big plays from Marquez North, from Jalen Hurd, from Alton Howard, those guys. How do you think that their practice is transferring to the field? They've done a good job, you know, and, and uh, they've done a good job since they stepped on, on the field and, and have arrived here at the university. Particularly Marquez now, Josh Smith, they've had a year, a full year, uh, if not more, in the program. And when it comes to the techniques involved, uh, they've been able to master that, their techniques and master their trade. Uh, and, and the young guys having got here in January have also had have a firm foundation and background upon which to build. So uh, they've been able to translate their, their practice on the field to their performance. Let's talk a little bit about those newcomers, some of the ones that you just mentioned, and how you think your veteran players have really matured them and helped lead them out on the field. Well, it's, you know, we, we stress in our program the idea of, of family and leadership all the time and accountability to your teammates, accountability to the coaching staff uh, and to Val Nation. And, and our guys understand that, that there's a lot at stake every time they take a rep in practice, every time they take a rep in the game. So uh, it starts with, with leadership. And, and we're seeing that even from guys, from the young guys that, that have come in. You know, leadership is influence. And, and we talk about, hey, have a positive influence on your teammates in any way you can. So um, it, it's, it's been a very positive environment and, and one that makes it uh, easier to grow in. And one of those positions is the O-line. Obviously, no secret that they're young, um, that you're dealing with a lot of newcomers. What have you seen from that position? Well, a, a grit and a tenacity. You know, it, it, they're, they're coming together. Their chemistry is developing. And, and sure, we might not be the, the biggest offensive line. We might not be the most athletic offensive line. But they understand that when it comes to playing with our style of play, that's what's necessary to win, you know, a level of physicality, a lever, level of effort. All right, Coach Bajakian, no huddle, up tempo offense. Are we where you want to see us? I think as a part, part of the nature of coaching is that you're never satisfied with where you are. Uh, but we, we've made great strides. This past game, uh, we were able to snap the ball 47 times in the first half. The previous game against Utah State, we snapped the ball 48 times in the first half. Uh, by the end of the third quarter against Arkansas State, we snapped the ball 70 times. Uh, and then we, we put the brakes on a little bit to, to chew up the clock in the fourth quarter. So we are moving with good tempo, and, and, and that's been a point of emphasis all spring long, all training camp long, and will continue to be a point of emphasis throughout the course of the season. Uh, but there's always those, those minute details that we can, we can correct and improve upon to help us move even faster. Well, awesome. It's great to talk to you. Thank you, Coach Bajakian, for sitting down with us today. Good luck. Thanks for having me.